Hello and welcome to Home Ownership, Section 4, Lesson 4, CWT Drafting, Argumentative Paragraphs. Today you will observe a model of how to write an argumentative paragraph using claims, evidence, and reasoning. You will observe a model of how to introduce and respond to a counterclaim. You will write well organized argumentative paragraphs in support of your thesis statements. Here is that culminating writing task that we're working on. Through reading of the unit text and additional research, you will develop an argument in response to the unit question. Is the dream of homeownership viable for all Americans within a more focused subtopic area? Using information from your reading, you will develop an argumentative thesis supported by a series of evidence-based claims, including at least one counter-argument to an opposing perspective or position. You will organize your thesis, claims, and evidence into a unified, coherent, well-reasoned argument that addresses a specific purpose and audience. Here are the learning targets for this lesson. Can you answer the unit question, is the American dream of homeownership viable for all Americans? Can you write an argumentative essay? For this lesson, you will need your reading response journal, your culminating task rubric, your culminating task draft document, and your culminating task tool. Using the work you have completed on your culminating task tool in preparation for the task, <laughs> you are going to create a draft in your reading response journal that addresses the prompt. Well, actually on the draft document. As you draft your essay, make sure that you include a thesis statement and that your essay develops your position. When you have a draft, once you have a draft, be sure to review the prompt and your draft then review the culminating task rubric. You are going to need to make sure that your draft addresses the prompt and that it meets the expectations. You will have 35 minutes to complete this activity. You are going to read the prompt and ask your partner the question. What kind of organization style best suits this type of question? Remember that you should make sure that your work is organized in a clear and coherent way that is logical and appropriate to the prompt. You will have two minutes to address this question. Congratulations! You have finished Section 4, Lesson 4 of the Homeownership Unit. In this lesson, you answered the unit question. You also wrote an argumentative essay.